Hello everyone, myself Amit Kumar Mane, founder of Global Pharma Academy. Today we are going to share about how to get a job opportunity in the drug regulatory affairs as a fresher. Let us uh, discuss about all these opportunities but before that how to apply, what are the skills required, what are the companies where you get opportunities, what is pay scale, everything we will discuss in today's video. So let's get started. Uh, so let me tell you what is the drug regulatory affairs. It is a connecting link between the manufacturing company and regulatory authorization. In India, regulatory authority is Central Drug Standard Control Organization, okay, in USA, USFDA, okay. In every country, there are different regulatory authority where you have to submit the documentation for the approval, whether it is clinical trial, whether it is for the export, whether it is for the registration of any products. Everywhere, regulatory authority plays very important role and that is why the regulatory professionals are needed to prepare that kind of the documentation, submitting the documents and take the follow-up of those documents. So that is why regulatory affairs is one of the prominent job opportunity everywhere. Regulatory affairs works in the medicine, regulatory affairs works in the medical devices, nutraceuticals product, even veterinaries products also. So before apply for this job, you must need to have a knowledge. What are the knowledge which is required? First, dozier preparation. Second, the regulations, guidelines, which is known as ICH. In ICH, quality guidelines are very important. Next, CTD, ACTD module, NDA, ANDA. Next, variations and renewals, okay. Then various terminologies, various uh, uh, authorizations okay like marketing authorizations because every country has its different regulation different rules you need to know about it it is a vast regulatory affairs is a very huge okay there are a lot of data a lot of information you need to have before applying for the job and you need to know about the markets like regulated market and semi-regulated are the two markets. Regulated means the developed countries like USA, UK, Europe. Semi-regulated means Latin America, African countries, Asian countries. These are the ROW, you can say rest of the world. So accordingly, you need to know the, uh, the climatic zone. You need to know the guidelines applied over there. Okay, so this is the first step. Get knowledge about the regulatory affairs. You can get knowledge through online, through your uh, teachers, the M Farm in regulatory affairs is also there. Certification course is also there. So if you are a pharma graduate, certification course is more than sufficient to get learning about regulatory affairs. Next thing, after getting, yeah, next thing is you can apply for the job. You need to know where which companies are there which can provide you the job opportunities. First company is the manufacturing itself. Where the manufacturing is done, it, there are the different site regulatory authorizations. Site regulatory peoples are there who can work for that particular site. Next is corporate regulatory, where the corporate offices are there, all the documentation work for the approvals and submissions are conducted there. The next one is clinical regulatory. The clinical operations are conducted and the data of the clinical trials has to be submitted to the regulatory authority for the approval of the next trial. Okay, this is again work and then in the medical devices also like in vivo, in vitro devices are there, you need to have a work for submission of it. And then as I say in the nutraceutical and uh, veterinary products also, in the uh, contract research organizations also you can get an opportunity and manufacturing companies also you can get an opportunity, corporate offices and some consultancies are there like Genpact and Fryer who are working only on the documentation, there are also you will get an opportunity. So, first resume, prepare your resume according to the latest industry requirement because the resumes are going through application tracking system, which is important. The keywords are important, like regulatory kind of the keywords where submissions, dossiers, approvals, ICH, okay, and these kind of the information, the keywords should be needed in your resume. Okay, then the next one is apply to the company. How, how you can apply? First of all, you can register on the job pro providing sites like Nokri, Indeed, Monster. Otherwise, you can uh, like apply to the link through the LinkedIn also. You should have your professional profile on LinkedIn. Okay, and increase your network professionally. Either you can also get connected with the alumni of your colleges and then you can refer. Otherwise, create your network through the LinkedIn. Professional network is very important. Get applied through this different portal. Otherwise, next is internship opportunities are also there. Some companies can provide internship opportunities also. 
like Paraxel. Okay, like CRO also providing opportunities, some corporate offices, companies, some corporate companies can also provide the internship opportunity, but very less. Regulatory has less uh, internship opportunity. If you got, that is also fine. Okay, otherwise the next thing, do any certification course from the institute which can provide you the placement assistance. Okay, because that institute can also provide you information also prepare you for the interview and provide you the placement opportunities so that will be very helpful even you can get a proper mentorship from the industry expert where you will get a proper learning and that is why this is also possible and next one if you don't get any opportunity in the regulatory affairs do one thing join any relevant field like quality assurance okay so join even in the research and development also you can join to further to the regulatory affairs also so do, join these departments work over there and you can switch internally also like the companies as a regulatory department and qa department you can that that is called deployment you can internally recruit it to the regulatory that is also possible otherwise you can do work in the relevant field and get experience but not much experience one or two year of experience then switch to the regulatory authority regulatory affairs job okay that is also possible so these are the possible ways where you can get opportunity in the regulatory affairs as a regulatory affairs is one of the prominent job opportunity don't miss this opportunity if you are interested for the documentation work and if you are interested in pharmaceutics analysis okay jurisprudence kind of the documentation work this field is ideally built for you okay so i hope this video help you to get more information about regulatory authority but if you still want to learn uh, about regulatory authority and also uh, uh, you want to uh, help for the placement assistance you can join our three month certification course in the drug regulatory affairs which will start from the next month 11 of august 2024 in the description i shared you all the details if you still have any any doubt you can call to this number or fill the google form given in the description in this course you will got to know about all domain knowledge in the skill development and placement assistance so this is ideal course for fresher and entry level peoples in the regulatory affairs so hope you like this video hope to like don't forget to uh, share this video to your friends and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe our channel which provides various career opportunities certification course information interview preparation that's it from this video happy learning all the best thank you